middle school is the time when many students learn how to convert fractions to decimals and percents and back and forth again and again. I generally call this the middle school merry-go-round. In this process, it's very important for students to know benchmark fractions and also benchmark percents and decimals to see how these different representations can represent the same thing. So I have two different kinds of benchmark fractions or really decimals here. Some of them are terminating and some of them are, are repeating. The most important one that everyone should know is that one half is 0.5 is 50%. That everybody has to know. Uh, the, other, the other three I have up here that are terminating are one fourth, which some people call one quarter, so that's 0.25, one fifth, which is 0.2, and then one eighth. One eighth is actually half of one fourth. If you put a zero and made a 0.250, you would then get 0.125 for half of 0.250. The repeating decimals are a little bit harder. If you take 1 divided by 3 on a calculator, it will show you a whole series of 0.333333. The way we can represent that is by writing 0.3 with a little line over it. And when we turn that into a percent, we have to write 33.3 line bar over the last 3% to really uh, get that precision. Same thing with 2 thirds. For 2 thirds, we double everything we did for 1 third, so we get 0.6, lots of 0.6s. Some calculators will actually show 0.66666667, and that's actually a calculator error. It's actually rounding up, but really it's trying to represent all those infinite number of sixes that are on there. So that becomes 66.6 .6 little line bar percent. One six, which is actually half of one third, becomes 0.16 with all those sixes, and that becomes 16.6 .6 line percent. And one ninth, if you do one divided by nine on a calculator, you get 0.111. So that's 11.1 .1 with a line over it percent. And then 1 11th is 0 0.0909, and that becomes 9.09 percent. The one I left off here, you can see I have just about everything except 1 7th. And 1 7th is repeating decimal, but it actually takes six digits to repeat. So if you do that on a calculator, you'll probably won't be able to see all of them, but you'll be able to see that it is a repeating decimal and not a terminating decimal. So these are important for students to understand how fractions relate to decimals, relate to percents, and these are called benchmark fractions, you can also call them benchmark percents, or decimals, so that students can have these ready when they need them. Thank you very much.